Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Scurvy, back with another banger of a video. Today we're going to be looking at two people addicted to plastic surgery. He's touching the truth. <laughs> Twenty-six-year-old Pixie Fox is one of the world's most famous plastic surgery addicts. I cannot be the only one either that thinks she looks better in the before picture. Just look at her waist in the after pic. That's not healthy. Like, where did your intestines go? Oh wait, I think I know where they went. Just to be clear, I want to say please do not go bully these people because they have some serious mental health issues. But her journey to becoming a real-life Barbie... Real-life Barbie? What kind of Barbies are you playing with? You do not look like a Barbie. Has been without a real life Ken until now. The new man in her life is none other than surgery legend Justin Jedlicker. Pixie and 35 year old Justin have undergone more than 450 cosmetic procedures between them. 450 cosmetic surgeries? Who's paying for this? They've got to be trust fund babies or else they're making bank from social media. It's fun to just play around with your body. There's like a world of possibilities to be able to like design your own body, just like people do their clothes. When most people say design their own body, they mean go to the gym or eat healthier, not get surgery. I think you have to have like a creative mind. I do definitely look at it like my art. I've removed six ribs, did lipo and inner outer thighs. I've done the chest implants from my shoulders, front, middle, back, four surgeries. I have the biceps three times now. I have 16 pieces of plastic in me. I have my eye color changed, I had eyelash transplant, done my nose three times. Fillers in yeah. my lips, I've done my boobs four times. Brazilian butt lift. Okay, that's a lot to take in. But oh my god, they are spending a poop ton of money on this. I don't know why the guy would get bicep, shoulder, chest, and back implants. I guarantee if he just took some steroids and went to the gym, he'd look a lot more natural and he'd probably be a lot healthier. Although they're not romantically attached, the pair are happy to have found one another as both of their love lives have suffered in their pursuit of their perfect bodies. Pixie has been single for a while and Justin is finalizing his divorce from his husband of three years. We're both single. It's a hard finding someone. It's not like it's hard to get the attention. It's just hard to find somebody who actually is willing to like, who is interested in that type of a lifestyle. Because like exactly. what we are really is kind of a lifestyle. Yeah, we are a lifestyle. Like people see us and then they don't really like realize the commitment that it takes to look like that. You yeah, know, there's a lot of people them. who come up to us and they're like super attracted to us. But then when we say we have plastic surgery, then they get like, oh, well, I don't know. But they don't want you to talk about it. I don't know if people think plastic surgery is unattractive because basically everybody in Hollywood has it. I think it's the extreme that these two go to. Although they're just friends, they have each other and have vowed to live as the real life Barbie and Ken. But what's the verdict on the Las Vegas Strip? You're Barbie and Ken! Oh, yes. oh my god, I love you guys! <laughs> <laughs> My best friend is gonna freak out! Do you guys not know who these people are? No, they're not porn stars. That's pretty funny that she thought they were adult actors. I mean, I'm surprised she doesn't have an OnlyFans, to be honest. Again, you look nothing like Barbie and Ken doll. Yeah. We actually do resemble Barbie and Ken. I guess. It wasn't intentional, right? No. But the fact that we found each other, it's like yeah. really pretty cool. It's like Pixie and Justin. Yeah, Pixie and Justin. Takes over the world. <laughs> For Ken and Barbie. It's crazy, but I feel like it's your body and you feel the necessity to change it to make yourself happy, then go for it. I don't want to live like that. 
not bad. Beautiful. I think it's very unhealthy to have that much plastic surgery. I think there's something wrong in their brain. Let's get married. Let's get married. I found you finally. <laughs> You're my soulmate. It's the start of something it's spectacular. It's definitely the start of a beautiful relationship yeah, together. <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's video please like and subscribe peace